morning everyone so unfortunately we have another dog that came in that is in really rough shape the dog's name is Jojo it's a Shih Tzu and there's a whole story that goes with it so while I am getting the coat shaved off and ready for a bath I will tell you the story so before I start I do want to say everything I use will be sanitized and disinfected before any other dog um, touches it or I use it on any other dog. So I'm going straight to a 10. This lady said this dog has not been groomed in over a, a solid year. Um, it does have feces on its rear. I do have some on my arm. I'll wash it off when I go take the dog to the bath. That's why I'm wearing gloves. Um, everything's gonna be disinfected. So while I shave down, I'm gonna tell the story this lady came in um i have hired a new assistant a new receptionist assistant whatever you want to call him and he is fantastic um the lady came in looking for information you know told her our available dates then she told us the story and i told her hey i can get the dick dog on dog in on Tuesday that was the earliest that I was going to be able to get it in and then today's Friday by the way so a couple days and then so he had her fill out all the necessary paperwork client agreement information address all that jazz and she got all the paperwork filled out then she goes oh by the way I need someone to come to my house and pick him up and we're like you know, I was back here grooming. He was like, what? We don't do that. Like, you need to find a mobile groomer. And so I just said, the only reason, or the only way we're gonna make this work is that she can do it today. And so he went to her house to go get the dog help. She needs help getting the dog in her car. So he went and helped her get the dog and then at the house, very clearly, he went over everything before they left, that he was going to put the dog into her car and then um, meet her back here and help her get the dog out of her car here. Well, at the house, she thought that it was like a take and deliver type situation of he's gonna put the dog in his car and then you know, he bring the dog back and we're like, no, 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 no. So get the dog here. And it was just a big mess. She said, you know, she's obviously been cutting on the dog by herself, but you know, she needs to find a mobile groomer because liability wise, we can't do that. You know, I did it today because I didn't want to leave the dog in this shape. Um, this is not a free groom. This is a paid groom. So, I'm gonna do what I can. This poop does not look normal. You know, I'm not a vet, obviously, but. Doing what is best for the dog, not what, you know, not particularly what the owner wants because when a dog comes in this matted and this shape, we have to do what's best for the dog. We have to think about the dog. Humanity over vanity. Nope. Don't even know how old this dog is. I like to try to give you, the viewer, the full experience of what I'm experiencing. And for some reason that messes with some people. Um, this dog does have a very distinct smell. The owner is a smoker, um, so it does smell, but then there's also the poop factor and it doesn't smell like regular poop. All oh, this is matted in here. If you have not seen the animal welfare video, I'll link it up here. 
if anybody has any suggestions of what else to do because animal welfare refuses to do anything, um, I would love to hear your suggestions. Just get dogs in all the time that are just matted and no one, no one will do anything. They won't do anything about it. Why? You know, like people say all the time, if they were children, they would do something about it. But why won't they do anything about animals? Maybe I do need to contact the news. Why is it okay for dogs to keep being neglected? Yeah, they're bringing them in and bettering the situation, but is it really bettering the situation? No, because the dog's going right back to where they were. That's matted in there. What I don't understand is, I, under, I understand these people may love their dogs and maybe like this one, they can't get to grooming. They can't, but don't you have family? Don't you have neighbors? Don't you have friends you could ask to get them to take your dog to grooming for you? Like, we shouldn't be embarrassed about needing help. I would much rather help someone out and this dog live a healthy life, you know, regular grooming, than be neglected. This is disinfectant, coolant. I am going to keep some of this tail. It's not completely matted. Can you stand up? So the reason I can't go straight to the bath is when you get these mats wet, they tighten even more. 
Stop. Stand up. You gotta stand up. It's okay. Doing so well, bud. I think you're a boy. I haven't really looked yet. Some here is really matted. I will not be dremeling the nails before the bath because there is going to be poop and feces on them and I don't want to be breathing that in. So I will trim them with nail clippers and then file after. As long as the dog is not thrashing around, is not being crazy, this is okay to have around the waist as long as it's not super tight. Stand up. You're okay. You're doing good. Doing good. You're okay. Get this out. What happens sometimes is grass and these little tree seeds get embedded in the skin and cause wounds. That's what I'm looking for. This tail's gonna have to go. It is matted. I thought it wasn't, but the owner has chopped on it. That's why. It's also probably what's best for the dog. It's just to be short all over. So we do reach out to these people when the dogs come in like this, and we just ask if they want to schedule an appointment or if they've scheduled somewhere else. And if they don't in a certain amount of time, you know, it sucks, but they have to be in rough shape for any agency to do anything. So, you know, six months goes by and we haven't heard from him and they haven't scheduled an appointment. We'll ask before then, but after that, if they don't schedule, do a, do a, we do do a welfare check.
It's okay. Doing really well, bud. Thank you, boy. Yeah, doing really well. Okay, so now clean this again. so nice he, my assistant he was he's going taking his lunch break he was asking if I wanted anything so matted in here so the reason I went straight to a 10 and not a 7 is because the 7 the teeth are wider apart and it has a much higher risk of nicking the dog with a seven, especially on a matted dog like this. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm just confused. The lady was like, yeah, he's going to take he, two. He needs two people. And I'm just like, why? He's being perfect. So I know some people are gonna say, oh, well, his head's not matted, why are you shaving it? And one, the owner said he probably just needs a shortcut all over. Two, it's what's best for the dog because it came in in this situation. And, and so it's just, you see what I'm doing. Sweet boy, you're gonna feel so much better and smell so much better. So there you go, solid mats. All this is solid matting back here. There's a mole or a, it's like a mole. It's okay, but he's doing so well. You know, some people are like, oh, this dog needs more than one person, and I'm just like, why? Dog is just perfect. Then we have some where the, <laughs> the owners are like, Oh, he's if he's an angel, and then he's like terrible, and we have to turn them away for medication before they can be groomed. Sedation meds. I bet that feels so much better. Just a little bit off your face. What do you think? Do you feel so much better? At least you're fed, huh? Yeah, at least you're fed. further clean that when I get done with him. Okay. 
is a 30. Just making sure no one's here since he went to lunch. The new groomer has not started yet. It's okay. I have to clean those up a little bit better after the bath. <sighs> These are definitely matted in here. I just don't understand. If you love something so much, how can you let them get in this shape? How? Like, it's just pure neglect. Like, I don't understand. Okay, so now I'm gonna take clippers it's okay trim this to a more normal length I mean to allow me to wash the feet a little bit better also. You're doing really well, Jojo. Sweet boy. I know, I know. We're almost done. Okay, now I'm going to pluck the ears. Gloves really help get all this out. Okay, and get him in the tub. Using our bathing system. Oh my goodness. these things stuck in his skin. They're literally stuck in his skin. What? You're scaring me, bud. Hey, it's okay. 
Look at that. It's stuck in his skin. So the bathing system has um, shampoo and it mixes with water and then makes diluted shampoo at the right ratio. I know, bud. These things are just stuck in his skin. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bud. Very full, very impacted anal glands. I'm sorry, bud. Those itch, don't they? Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna take this comb. This is a flea comb. Just work on getting those out. It's super windy today. So that's why you're gonna hear the door. Sorry. I can imagine how painful that's gotta be. These are stuck in his skin. That's so messed up. Why? All in his skin. Yes, I know I'm not a vet, but when dogs come in and they're this neglected, if we tell an owner, hey, you need to take your dog to the vet, the likelihood of them being taken to the vet is very low. So sometimes on like minor things like this, I kind of do have to play vet. I do have some, and I know, it keeps scaring me. I'll look at it some more after the bath. Um, they're, they're just everywhere. But to be embedded in the dog's skin, like, I can't imagine. It's like, they're like wood splinters. You can see all in here.
just makes me so mad. Like the dog has literal splinters all in its body. Ridiculous, just ridiculous. Don't understand. I will never understand why people do this to their animals. I'll show you guys this a little bit better. You see that? Every single one of those is where one has been or one is. There's two embedded in there. There's one embedded in there. There, there's one up here. Like, they're embedded in there. I'm gonna have to use hemostats to get it out. Okay. You're okay. It's okay. I tried to get out all of those little seed things out of the skin and I was able to get all but one. I'm gonna refer them to the vet, but when it comes to people that neglect their dogs, when I tell them that, they usually don't take them to the vet. So I try to do what I can for the dog while the dog is here, so I know it gets most of what it needs. Come on. It's okay. I'm turning this way. It's okay. Jojo. <whistles> One nail left. Okay. So all of these little black dots you're seeing everywhere are pieces of the paw pads being shed off because they haven't been able to breathe for so long because it, they've been matted. So all in the cage that this dog was in, there's just little bitty black pieces everywhere. Clean them, clean them up in a little bit. This is the last dog for the day. Okay. So I'm just gonna clean up the areas that are still a little long.
Run this way. There's another one. I know you feel so much better, don't you? So much better. At least I will know this dog will be in pr at least pretty good shape for at least six months. Um, when we shave dogs this close, it does take them a while to grow back. So we have a system when it's been however long, you know, we determine since their last appointment, we call them and say, hey, we recommend coming in and I will give it to them at a discounted rate if it gets them in here and gets them taken care of this dog. We will not be going and picking up the dog though, helping the lady load it. No idea what that is, looks like a mole maybe. from an Australian shepherd I just did.
Those pads will harden back up once they've been exposed to air for a couple of days. They've just been so saturated that, I mean, it's just, it's just shedding. They're just shedding. Okay, so I think she looks, he looks pretty good. Sweet boy, he is so good. I just don't understand why he's not groomed more often. Just doesn't make sense. And of course he deserves a bandana. The owner may not, but he does because he did a great job of letting me groom him. Didn't you, you sweet thing? So there he is. Feels so much better. Everything I used in this video is linked down below. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.